early October, just two weeks after Hurricane Helene, Major Hurricane Milton takes aim on the Florida Gulf Coast. After rapidly intensifying from a tropical storm to a Category 5 hurricane in 25 hours, the storm was slowly weakening as forecast on approach to Florida, but still capable of major storm surge, destructive wind, flash flooding, and an increasing tornado threat. Lots of debris on the right side fly now. The Storm Prediction Center had a rare 10% hatch tornado threat in central and southern Florida, an indication of not only numerous tornadoes, oh, look at the tornado. but strong tornadoes, which is rather uncommon for landfalling tropical systems. Low-level shear was rapidly intensifying as the 850 millibar wind from the south increased, influenced by Milton. At the surface, southeasterly winds created enhanced 0 to 1 kilometer helicity values. The most important factor with this event was early early morning and afternoon sunshine that enhanced surface heating and generated steeper low-level lapse rates and low-level instability. The instability this produced, overlapped with the wind shear, created a uniquely volatile severe weather environment rare for Florida. Today is October 9th, 2024, Hurricane Milton, formerly Category 5, just downgraded to a Category 4 as it moves towards the Tampa area. We're going to track the tornado threat this afternoon in southern and central Florida, and then the hurricane threat probably early on Thursday as it moves closer towards Cape Canaveral and the Atlantic side, where surge will still be a problem. Tornado warning just off to my west southwest. We have another tornado warning just off to my southeast. We're going to try and pick off both of these tornado warning storms on this highway. I'm going to slow it down here. Low level clouds are moving very quickly in front of me. You can see the swirl in those clouds right there. How we doing? It's about to it's about to cross the road right here. You kind of see this bowl right here, just to the left of the road. That's that's the couplet right there. So it's about to cross, probably maybe a quarter mile down the road. So. <laughs> Well, I think, I think we're done here with this guy. It looks like it's crossed the road, so I think you guys should be good now. Yeah, it's just to the right of the road. It looks like it didn't want to do it here. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, we're gonna go back east to Yeehaw Junction, and we're gonna try and get the next supercell. Right now, we actually do have a particularly dangerous situation, a PDS tornado warning in effect. Right now, there is a very large debris ball on radar. It's in a bit of an area where there are no buildings and no roads. So I'm kind of waiting for it to come my way, but there may be a very large tornado on the ground. There is a very large tornado on the ground, and it's coming up this way towards Yeehaw Junction. Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, this second round of the supercells coming our way looks a lot more dangerous and we should have a view of potentially some tornadoes here within the next maybe 10, 15 minutes. That appears to be a large tornado. All right, I see debris flying. Debris is flying. It's pretty rain wrapped. You can see the left and right edge. East.
this storm became a cyclic supercell, producing likely tornado after tornado as it moved north toward Orlando. What I learned watching this storm was deviant motion was westward during the handoff phase, meaning when a new tornado was generated, the old tornado would make a hard left or west-northwest turn, something very useful to know in the coming hour. My coworker joined me in Yeehaw Junction as we now headed south toward more supercells by Port St. Lucie, everyone rotating and tornado warned. We plan to intercept them in Fort Pierce. Well, big dark mass in here. It should be, we should have this one here soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Just an absolute barrage. Oh. That actually might be the spot I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back there. Yeah. It's coming this way, so you'll, you got a minute? Yeah, I wanna make sure I have a good escape route here. Good idea. Might have a big fat tornado there, guys. It's gonna clear just to the left of those trees. Oh my God, that's huge. That's a big tornado. Here, be careful getting yeah, out. Yeah, I'm not gonna get out. Okay. Oh my goodness. That is huge. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah, just just be careful, man. Oh my god, that's like... Big tornado. Holy smokes, dude, look at the motion. Oh, holy cow. Just careful with the lighting. Yep, yep. I'm just staying in the car. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm ready. I'm getting ready. I'm gonna take video, just let me know. Yep. When you feel uncomfortable, just let me know. Wow. You know, I think we're doing okay right now. It's gonna pass probably just south of us. I think just south. This is a massive one. Look at all the debris. There's a ton of debris. Debris flying everywhere. Power flashes. You can hear the roar. Open your window. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can hear the roar. There's debris everywhere. Don't go right, just be careful. Oh, be careful, be careful. We're going the wrong careful. way. It's okay, it's okay. Just yeah, we're, cut, we're, cut good. we're good, we're good, we're good. No, we're good. We're, we got nobody oncoming, we're good. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. We don't have much time, just yep. real quick. I'm not even getting, getting out. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Listen to the roar. I 
I think we gotta go. We gotta go. Let's get in. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna go left to get some separation here. It's right there. Nick. Yep. Go, 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 we're gonna go. go, go, go. We're gonna go left, and we're gonna be good. Yep. A little bit. I think we'll. I'm gonna go left here. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna get uh, west and then flip around and wash across behind us. With our two escape routes being north or west, and keeping in mind tornadoes today have made erratic turns north and west, we chose the straight west option so that we have plenty of room to gain separation on the tornado and not risk the tornado turning into the north option. And that's in fact exactly what it did. All right, careful, careful. All right, you're good, you're good. Nice, well done, well Great call out, my friend. Yep. Can I open the doors? Let me know when you're ready. Yep, I think we're, we should be okay, I think. You're good, you're good. I'm just talking. Alright. What do we want to do here? We got strong westerlies, so we're safe here. Yes. Yeah, we can get in this road up here and go to our piece. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, be really careful with debris, though. Yep. Um, we don't want to get another foot there. Uh, there are going to be lights in there that are probably going to be out, so. Yep. Just oh, look at the tornado! Satellite! Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. Alright, maybe there's not. As we followed the tornado north, we crossed into the damage path, and so the chase was over. We checked the immediate area to make sure everyone was okay before first responders got on scene, and we handed it off to them. The hardest hit area was just north of where we stopped, right, where unfortunately, fatalities were reported. Hurricane Milton made landfall a few moments ago near Siesta Key as a Cat 3 storm. We have Nick Stewart, who we've been talking to on and off, and also did some storm chasing uh, that we got to take a part of uh, in, with Debbie and then yeah. Helene, and now with Milton. The landfall on the west coast, but the tornadic part of Milton was on the east and southeast coast. And Nick, you've uh, seen some pretty dramatic stuffs this afternoon in the form of tornadoes and then the aftermath. It's been a very busy one, to say the least. Uh, we did have a pretty large tornado on the north side of Fort Pierce earlier today. Very damaging tornado. We watched it go through a very residential area on the north side of Fort Pierce. A lot of debris flying through the air. I will say that it was kind of had that classic waterfall sound of a very strong tornado. This was not like a normal tropical tornado that you would see. We're looking at some of your video. Uh, Nick, and that, that if you didn't know any better, you'd think you were in the Midwest. That is something else. A lot of motion to that tornado. Now, I know officially the National Weather Service, and in this case, it's the Melbourne uh, National Weather Service uh, area. They're going to come out and do a storm survey, an official storm survey. Do you think you could put an EF rating on this, or would you rather not? It's a little difficult to say. Uh, I would, you know, typically leave that to the experts. I will say in terms of building damage, uh, the neighborhood that we checked out, there were multiple homes that all the exterior walls completely collapsed. Typically, that's somewhere in the ballpark of EF2. I'm not sure if this tornado hit something to justify a higher rating. So I'm curious, Nick, where are you headed now? Yeah, right now we're heading back, uh, basically I'm heading back home uh, okay. up towards the Cape Canaveral area as the eye wall begins to make its way inland. Obviously, uh, it has made landfall, um, so we'll be tracking it. Back in Cape Canaveral, the center of Milton approached with 70 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts and heavy rainfall. Thankfully, overall impacts in this part of Florida were more minor compared to devastation on the Gulf Coast. I'm meteorologist Nick Stewart.